Last year, American oil production reached its highest level since 2003. Let me repeat that. Don't bother, say the oil industry and the GOP, who claim the president played fast and loose with the facts. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, or EIA, an independent federal agency, domestic crude oil production last year did reach a seven-year high, but industry analysts say that's due to leases finalized years ago. It was investment by companies. They went out and bought the billion-dollar um, platforms. The development took place, and now it's just coming online. Much of this production is actually as a result of the Clinton administration. In 2007, the EIA projected that production on federal lands would be 16 percent higher than what it is today. And on Tuesday, EIA projected drops in overall domestic oil production of 111,000 barrels per day this year and 130,000 barrels per day next year. That's not all the president's fault, his critics acknowledge, but they say his policies played a large role. He put Anwar off the table. Offshore in Alaska, off the table. California, off the table. Virginia, off the table. Florida, off the table. These are folks who are not really living in reality. I don't think anybody's forgotten that we're only a few months removed from the worst oil spill in our history. So what we've done is to put in place common sense standards. We've approved more than 35 new offshore drilling permits. Again, that's true, but the Obama administration has only issued one permit for deep water drilling since lifting its moratorium on that activity, and that permit, granted two weeks ago, was to resume an existing project. The three dozen permits Mr. Obama referred to are almost all for shallow water drilling, which experts say will only account for 10 percent of future oil discoveries. A Senate Democrat from the Gulf region voiced her frustration with that policy to the Interior Secretary at a hearing last week. What are you specifically doing to get these permits increased so our people can get back to work? The president repeatedly said the U.S. controls only 2 percent of the world's oil, but industry analysts pointed to a report by the Congressional Research Service, which cites recoverable oil in the U.S., to argue that we control at least 17 percent of the world's oil. In Washington, James Rosen, Fox News.